Muncie Access Television Channel 60 presents Muncie News Updates. This week's news from City Hall. The city attorneys, I appreciate you all being here today. Um, there's been an indictment was returned naming Craig Nichols as a defendant. Nichols has been placed on unpaid administrative leave and effective immediately. An indictment does not mean that the party has been found to be guilty of any illegal action. Nichols is entitled to due process and other rights under the law. There will be no further comments on this indictment. The building commissioner's office continues to be open and fully functioning. An interim building commissioner will be named at a later date. The City of Muncie is fully cooperating in any and all investigation and looks forward to a complete and early resolution of any issues. Our administration continues to operate the daily business of our city. Thank you. Now at this time, and notwithstanding the advice of council, including me, the mayor would like to address the citizens of Muncie. Thank you, Megan, and welcome everybody for being here today. Uh, most of you in this room know over the last 12 to 14 months, every time you've asked me a question about the pending investigation, my attorneys have advised me not to. And normally I do not speak on pending in litigation. I have been advised my, by my attorneys to not speak today. But today is different for me as mayor of this great city of Muncie. Since 2012, I've been the mayor of Muncie, Indiana. It's my hometown. I love this city. I love the citizens of this city. It's where I choose to live, work, raise my family, and in my opinion, it's the greatest little second-class city in the world. For the past 18 months, there's been no question. The FBI investigation has caused our great employees of the city of Muncie to not be able to do their work as efficiently and as effectively as they had been able to prior to this investigation. For that, I apologize to all of our employees. My administration has worked with and answered every single request made by the FBI. In consulting with city attorneys and private lawyers, there has been no allegations of any criminal acts by the city of Muncie. There may be mistakes by the city of Muncie, but not criminal acts. The investigation of our city administration has resulted in the spending of money to defend, to not only assist in the cost of the FBI's investigation, but also to ensure that the city has been adequately heard. I have been honored to serve the great city of Muncie. I am proud of its administration. I'm proud of our accomplishments. I'm even more proud of our employees and the job each and every one of them do on a daily basis under extremely stress and duress under difficult circumstances. Notwithstanding the burdens imposed by this investigation, I continue to be proud in the direction Muncie is going. It's self-evident if you look at the city of Muncie from January 1st to 2012 to today, the city of Muncie has moved in very significant positive ways to show the state of Indiana and the United States that Muncie is the greatest little city in the United States. In my humble opinion, the city of Muncie is a beautiful city. Beauty doesn't come easy. You have to work at it. We have made changes and we will continue to make changes. Before anybody knew of any investigation going on in the city of Muncie, I recognized there were inefficient and ineffective policies and procedures. I have made changes to these, and I will continue to make changes to these policies and procedures. Based upon the wording of the indictment, we'll be digging deeper into how we make policies and changes and consulting with our attorneys. The progress made in Muncie has been positive, and I think observable. Again, I've been blessed to serve as the city of Muncie, and I'm honored to continue to serve the citizens of Muncie. We have always tried to be open, not only to the press, but to citizens of this great city. That's the reason every second Tuesday of every month, we've had a five minutes chat with the mayor where anybody in this great city could come in and meet with us and share ideas and thoughts. 
We will continue to try to be open, maybe too open at times where checks and balances have been lax. But we will move forward and we will move forward in a positive way. The indictment is the... Pardon me, I'm sorry. We're not <laughs> Thank speaking you. of the indictment. Thank you. Um, that is something that Craig Nichols will need to answer to. Um, and I think from the mayor's statement, certainly the city has issues. For example, the indictment um, suggests that there have been large amounts of money that have been paid out and that were improper and properly paid out. And we will be looking at that very closely and to make sure that there's proper checks and balances are imposed. So thank you so much for coming. We appreciate your time and effort. We appreciate you wanting to um, make the city of Muncie a greater place to live, a greater place to um, survive and thrive through this journey that we're all going through of life. And um, I personally appreciate your passion and wanting to, um, again, make the city uh, great. So thank you. Is anyone answering any questions? Not at this time. We don't have, um, we just have a copy of the indictment, which um, does not have any, uh, that's something that Craig Nichols will need to answer to. Well, the indictment lists another city employee who had knowledge. Right, and from that, um, that for example, on that it says the Muncie City of official who appointed the building commissioner, that is the mayor, because he would make that appointment. Are there concerns that other indictments could come down? There's always concerns of that. What we have tried and always will try to do is to continue with cooperating with an investigation process and to um, move forward with that. So, What was the decision process to make sure that Nichols is still on paid administrative leave and will there ever be a decision for him not, to be on unpaid paid administrative leave? The, he is on unpaid administrative leave, effective immediately. Um, he's not been on, at any time, paid administrative leave. Does the city have any conflict of interest laws that this indictment uh, violated, or not violated, but that this process violated? I'm not able to speak to that at this time. Reagan, when did his leave begin? Um, yesterday. Will the city be looking into conflict of interest laws that would uh, prohibit this from happening in the future? We already have those policies in place that we do an internal audit. And um, those began, um, I believe, at the end of 2013, going into 2014. And so um, those are um, an example of what we've done internally. We've also had um, policies where the, um, simply put, where a city employee cannot uh, work contractually on a second job on city contracts. And that was passed, I think, um, in 2015 or sometime um, thereafter. So um, there are, you know, obviously issues and those are things that we will address and to make those changes and make sure that we are doing w what we should be doing. Is there any sort of personal statement just knowing this could have been going on and it is impacting the taxpayers of Muncie if this is indeed true? Is there any sort of personal statement that you would want to share with the citizens of Muncie? I don't have a personal statement, I'm sorry. I think the mayor speaks for me, I know. Um, with his passion and the way that he feels about the city, I would agree with him on that. I chose to come back here after um, leaving for some time. I chose to have my small business here in the city of Muncie, and I chose that because of how great the city of Muncie is and all of the wonderful things that have happened since 2012 have been very exciting for me personally. So I would wholeheartedly agree with this um, mayor's statement, um, his passion, the effect that it has recognizing the effect that it has had on our employees and the citizens of Muncie and we just continue to move forward and continue to make the city great. How do you know that that other city official is the mayor? Because of the way that the indictment is written. It says Muncie city official who appoints the building commissioner. There is only one person in that who has the authority to appoint the building commissioner and that is the mayor of the city. So is the mayor facing charges as well? The indictment did not state that. Is the FBI investigation just looking into the building commissioner's office or is it spreading also to other work of the city government? I'm not, I don't know if 
if you knew, you'd know more than I would. So what, um, you know, unfortunately, we only get information when it's given to us. Um, for example, last night when we put the statement out that we knew that there had been an indictment that was returned. However, we didn't have any of the details of it. And so that's why we um, didn't have a press uh, conference earlier this morning because we needed to get a copy of the indictment, read it, and go from there with it. So, I mean, unfortunately, <clears throat> excuse me, that's just the process that the FBI goes through. For you guys as a city and, and you as an attorney, are you going back and looking through all of these documents as well, or does the FBI still have them? What documents are you um, regarding? Are you just referring to about the, the invoices and statements and everything from the building commissioner's office that they took? We have already gone through those. Um, the documents that they've physically taken um, back in January have not been returned to the building commissioner's office, so we're not able to review those. Um, however, there um, has been from really 12 moving forward um, reviews of all of the policies and procedures that each department goes through. And so that is what we will um, be investigating, figuring out, solving issues and conflicts that come on, arise from those policies and procedures, as well as um, to make sure that, um, you know, specifically in regards to the amounts of money that were um, paid out from uh, the City of Muncie accounts, those types of issues will definitely be digging into deeper. And just to clarify, in the indictment, I'm reading straight from it, it says Nichols, another city official, and others attempted to conceal Nichols' sham demolition. That other city official, you are speaking about the mayor. No, I'm not. That's not what the, um, in the beginning of that indictment, it states the city official who appoints the mayor. That's the only, um, or I'm sorry, the city official that appoints the building commissioner, and that's the only city so official are that is. City officials referenced in this document. I'm not sure. Right? I'm not sure. Well, I mean, you have it, so you can read it. I'm not sure. Okay, so that you don't know who that other city official is that she just referenced. No. Okay. Are you actively looking for that city official, or that is? Well, I mean, <laughs> wouldn't be doing my job if I wasn't going and searching and figuring out what the um, implication was. So, of course, I am. However, you got, you most likely got the indictment quicker than I did. So, it makes it a little bit tough to go and um, analyze it the way attorneys do and be able to have it have a press conference in a timely fashion. So, all of those types of questions um, will be investigated. The, um, again, the policies and procedures of the administration uh, will be looked at um, and, and dove into deeper. So could that other city official be the mayor? I don't believe so. We have a copy of the uh, uh, press release for anybody from the press that would like it. Is that the one from yesterday? No. It's a different one, so. Is that all? Yes, that's it. Okay. Thank you.